Good afternoon. I'm Cruz, and this is Rachel. I'm from Wine College, Kowloon. And I'm from Dawson's Girl School. Everything began with one simple question. Three months ago, I asked one of our project advisors, Patrick, why aren't there any penguins in the Arctic? He answered, Well, when you see God after you die, you can ask him. Yet, we did the exact opposite. We wanted to seize the day and find the answers ourselves. That's why, the very subject matter that we decided to look into, the choice we made, was penguins. And interestingly enough, it is ocean currents that prevent the penguins from reaching the north. Now, let's take a look at this map of ocean currents. We all know that penguins evolve in the south, but there's more. Penguins only stayed in cold currents. That's the place where food is provided. Hey, I got that. The warm current would be too hot for penguins. Exactly. And the very reason why penguins cannot reach the north is because they can't get there. As simple as that. Now, this is just a tip of an iceberg because what our project really is about is the possibility of penguin survival in the Arctic. Now, based on the similar conditions of the two poles, in terms of location, sunlight, temperature, we came up with the hypothesis that penguins should be able to survive in the Arctic. Now we're going to present our findings, and let me pass the time to Rachel, if I may. Thank you, Chris. There are two main limiting factors on penguins' survival in the Arctic. The first one is the lack of ice, ice sheets. During summer, the Arctic was covered by relatively less ice covering than the Antarctic. The ice covering in the Antarctic managed to keep the land temperature at a freezing point. And on the contrary, the temperature in the Arctic might rise to a much higher degree, which may be too hot for the penguins. The second factor is predators. Different from the Antarctic, which there are no land predators, in the Arctic, there are polar bears, wolves, and Arctic foxes and penguins, as prey species who are relatively flightless and live ashore, are helpless from all these threats. And even more, there are also marine predators which are pre absent in the Antarctic, such as the Greenland sharks and the leopard seals. These are all the limi limiting factors that we have observed. Another remarkable discovery that we made was the great ox. The great ox were the only species in the Arctic that resembles penguins. They have been living in the Arctic for many thousands of years. But unfortunately, unfortunately due to overhunting, they became extinct on July the 3rd, 1844. Aside from what we have just shared with you, we have one more thing to add, and this is really big for us. We have learned the right attitude one should have when doing a research project. That is, any scientific inquiries should lie, uh, any, any scientific inquiries lies in the spirit of finding answers to unanswered questions. And it is only by asking these questions that we keep improving and advancing as a society to greater stages of development. Well, what we can do is quite limited. I mean, we're just a group of students. But we would like to conclude our sharing with one simple metaphor, that is, the staircase to truth is not built within one single step, but it's built step by step. Stone by stone. One upon the other. And, and we, we are, are here, here to take, to take the, the first, first step, step, as it is what every long voyage begins with. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Then we now pass the time to the next group, Francis, Rebecca, and Thomas.